好，去到第十一、十二條呢，就係、是、用返下面呢兩個 set up 嘅。今日有個學生啦，就將兩棵相似嘅植物呢，就擺一個黑暗嘅地方，廿四小時。跟住啦，就再擺將佢擺喺啦 set up A 啦 set up B 啦，咁樣呢，就進行一個有關於 photosynthesis 光合作用嘅實驗。咁啊，首先呢，想提一個 extended concept 嘅。咁啊，嗱，今次題目冇問嘅，下次嗰條 MC 可能會問㗎啦。點解要將個植物擺喺一個黑暗嘅地方擺一日呢？咁其實呢個過程就係 de-starch 脱澱粉，就係、是、為咗咧將個植物入面個澱粉質嘅儲存咧去清零啊，啊冇曬佢啊，從而咧就確保得到咧做完成個實驗啦。如果我哋 detect 得到任何嘅澱粉質咧，都係喺呢個實驗嗰陣時咧去整出嚟嘅。咁而家啦，睇翻個實驗咯喎，咁我哋咧 set up A 咧，你會發現啦，佢有一啲咧。專係吸咗啲二氧化碳嘅化學物，咁即係 set up 咧係冇二氧化碳嘅。同一時間咧又凹咗個紙箱喎，咁即係咧連光都冇埋噶啦。咁相對上阿 B 咧佢冇咗嗰啲話咩吸 CO2 嘅化學物質啦，咁即係佢仍然咧係有 CO2 喺個 jar 入面啦。咁同一時間呢個 jar 咧亦都冇一個大嘅紙箱去遮住喎，咁即係咧亦都係有光嘅。咁而家兩個 set up 知道咗先啦。咁而家嗱睇翻咧成個十一條。咁佢就問啦，做完成個實驗之後呢，咁我哋就抽塊葉出嚟啦，嚇掹塊葉出嚟啦，就攞去做呢 a l d e n test。咁 a l d e n test 係攞嚟做咩嘢㗎？就係呢，攞嚟測試下究竟呢，佢有冇呢個澱粉質嘅出現。咁如果佢係有澱粉質出現啦，咁即係話棵植物呢，應該係有進行過光合作用啦。咁下面呢，我哋有四個 step， 咁我哋就要做返一個簡單嘅排序啦。咁啊，當然知道次序之前啦，咁啊，當然咧條題目其實就係考下我哋咧，每一個步驟咧，究竟佢嘅功用係啲咩嘢？咁第一步咧，將佢浸喺熱水咧，就係、是、想殺死啲葉嘅細胞，將所有嘅 chemical reaction 全部停曬佢先。第二啦，就係咧加碘液，咁呢個就係頭先我哋講嘅 a l d e n test 啦，就想睇下啲澱粉質喺唔喺度啦。到第三啦，就係將個葉咧擺喺酒精個樹，其實咧就係為咗脱色，因為本身塊葉係綠色青 B B 噶嘛。咁你又點樣可以睇得見嗰個 a l d e n test 嘅顏色變化呢？係嘛？本應呢就係呢個啡色，如果佢真係有澱粉質嘅話呢，就會變成呢個 blue black 藍黑色。咁如果塊葉本身青 B B， 係真係睇唔見㗎嘛？咁但係浸完酒精之後呢，塊葉會變得好脆嘅。咁所以啦，我哋呢就有呢個第四步呢，就係將佢擺返喺一個濕温嘅水啦，就揚下佢浸幾秒，就去浸返淋佢咁解啫。咁所以啦，而家呢，我哋第一步要做嘅呢，就梗係要整死啲葉嘅細胞，令到佢唔再做 photosynthesis 之餘，亦都唔再做 respiration， 令到佢呢唔會用咗啲嘢食佢。所以呢 c d 呢就可以 say goodbye 㗎啦。咁一咗之後啦，第二步係啲咩嘢呢？咁第二步呢，係即刻落去碘液啊，定還是第三步要脱咗色先呢？咁梗係脱咗色先啦，因為啦，佢而家都仲係青 B B 㗎嘛。脱咗啲色佢，令到咧冇晒啲綠色先。之後呢，就要浸返暖水去浸返淋化葉咯，因為頭先浸完酒精之後呢，化葉係脆咗㗎嘛。咁所以啦，就去到最後尾嗰步呢，先係做呢個 a l d e n test。所以答案呢，就係一三四二啦。Question eleven and question twelve, we are going to use this setup. A student put two similar plants in darkness for twenty four hours and then play them in the following setup: setup A and setup B to investigate the photosynthesis. So, uh, one extended concept I would like to mention first is talking about why the student he need to put the plant in the darkness for twenty four hours for one day. So the concept is to de-starch the plant. That means consume all the starch stored in the plant. So it means that there should be no starch in the plant, and then make sure the starch we can detect it in the investigate. It should be produced during the experiment. But not something uh, stored it before, so you can see that uh, maybe I can change the question a bit to ask you why the students they put the plant in the darkness for twenty four hours. And then let's take a look at the two setups. For the setup A, we can see that uh, there are some chemicals absorbing the carbon dioxide, so that's why in the whole setup A there is no carbon dioxide in the jar. And then there is also a box blocking the light, so that's why there is no light in setup A. And for setup B is the opposite concept because there is no such chemicals absorbing carbon dioxide, so that's why in the whole setup there should be carbon dioxide in the jar. Also, there is no box blocking all the light, so that's why it's also light provided in the setup B. 
So let's take a look at the question 11. It's talking about at the end of the experiment, we take some leaves for the Aldin test. So for the Aldin test, what's for? Is for testing the presence of the starch. And if there is the starch present, it means that the plant carry out photosynthesis. So the question is asking us to arrange the following steps in the correct order. This question is checking the concept about the function of each step. For the first step, we put the leaves in the boiling water for five minutes in order to kill the leaf cells. It makes sure that we can stop all the chemical reaction, including photosynthesis and respiration. So that's why the plant, the leaves, it will not use the starch produced during the experiment. And then for the second step, we add the Aldin test. As what I mentioned before, we need to test if the starch presents or not. And then for step three, we put the leaf in a hot alcohol. It's a way to decolorize the leaves because the leaves, they are green in color. But for the Aldin test, we need to observe the color change if there is any uh, starch present in the leaves. It should be changed from brown to blue black. But what if the plant, the leaves, is still very green? How can we observe the color change? So that's why we need to decolorize it. But after the leaves in a hot alcohol, so the leaf will become fragile. And then for the step four, we put the leaves in the room temperature water in order to soften it. So according to these four functions, and then we can do it step by step. First of all, we really need to stop all the chemical reaction. So that's why we shall choose step one. So that's why option C and D say goodbye. So after killing all the leaf cells, shall we add the Aldin solution or put them in the hot alcohol to decolorize them first? Of course, we need to decolorize the leaves. But after this step, the leaves will become very fragile. So that's why we need the step four to make the leaf become softened again. And then we can do the Aldin test to test the presence of starch or not. So that's why the answer is B.